And Sean's got another one on. Keep, keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Biscuits and gravy. The American staple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right way to wake up in the morning. No sausage from Dublin General Store. Some gravy in the Yoop. Mm -hmm. And if you're from England, Biscuits and gravy is good. All right, we made it to the mine. I don't know if they're gonna let me film, but maybe. So we'll ask them some bat species information. Oh, surviving white nose syndrome, huh? I did. What's the uh, Truax Outdoors. So my last name and then outdoors and we'll have you guys linked and all that fun stuff in the in the vlog. So they did say that I could film in here, which is awesome. And during the tour, so we're going to do a little little filming during the tour because we don't want to give too much away. We want you guys to come out and do it. But uh, yeah, this is the store in here. It's pretty cool. They got a whole bunch of copper, Michigan copper and all that. So uh, yeah, let's look. We got some bar copper here. Yeah, but the large bag. Ooh, I don't like that. This is called a sticking Tommy. My name is Tom. You have to sign for permission. I don't. I don't know that I like that. <laughs> this is called a sticking Tommy. Oh, I. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds. Oh man! Big old piece of copper there. I got some rocks. Hey Carl, are you excited? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I guess we just found some of those. Ooh. Huh? Some what? Some rocks. You do, you do. Then some soda light, aka Uper light. No, but you do have to sign. I just signed at the bottom. So you can just say your name. Tim, did you sign and print your name on there, Waver? Yep. Cool. Marbles. Battle. Okay. Anyways, uh, our tour is at 1.30, so we got a little bit of time. But, uh, yeah, I'll turn it back on and kind of take you with us for a ride. And I will say, they have this really cool vehicle that goes everywhere. I remember we were here in 2020 and uh, it was fun. And so we're, we uh, took my in-laws here that my wife, like I said, st stayed home, but her parents came out because they wanted to see it. So uh, yeah, I've been telling them about the, it's like, are you gonna go up that? I remember asking it, yeah. I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun ride. So I'll see you guys on the vehicle. So I won't be able to give you the tour myself. Hey, 
Um, but this foundation here is the old hoist house. If you all saw that chain link fence behind the parking lot there, it would have actually been connected to this building before. It's some big steel cables. Uh, that's how miners would get in and out of a shaft that used to be right up there. They'd ride down what was called a skip car at a 45 degree incline in uh, something called a man car or skip car. Hello guys. All right. Here, so. Excellent. Yeah. All right, perfect. We're going to start out with a little bit of historical stuff. I don't know if Rob mentioned anything yet, but I am Addie May. All right, welcome to Adventure Mining Company. Fun fact about this place, we've always been called that. We're actually on the side of Adventure Mountain right now. And so that's why we've had this name pretty much forever. I mounted right on the front of everything. But... safety for you guys just for all of us to go over so we all keep keep our heads all right and so what i ask of you guys is keep these helmets on at all points of time while we're in the vehicle it's yes, not too know. pleasant to hit your ceiling against yeah. the top all right and then keep your arms legs heads inside the vehicle as well not too great to get those hucked off by a tree doesn't feel too good not usually um and then these handles are for your support the backs of the seats are not those ones are not weight bearing they're only held up by zip ties all right all right, cool. You look scared. Your eyes are really cool. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Driver, all clear. <laughs> Description, all that. So, this will be the remains of Hoist House Number One, very similar to what we were standing in the basement, except for it would have been connected to Shaft House Number One and Shaft Number One. These three depressions in the ground right there, those are where the boilers would have sat. That's how we got all of our steam power for all the machinery that we were. Making. And look at that <laughs> hill. <laughs> this thing just this thing just goes right up. Just, it's crazy. Like this is so fun. This thing is so cool. Awesome. It just goes probably right up it like it's nothing. Oh, probably not. Yeah. Don't no. burn. I can't imagine. Do this all every day. I will not leave when you fly. <laughs> <I will. laughs> the... No, you're not about the same sister. You are the same sister. I remember the first time I was like, this thing's gonna go up that. And it, yep. uh, last week. So, yeah. I want one of these so bad. You could do it. That thing is awesome. Man, that is impressive. I not lean. I refuse. I will not crush you. <laughs> Okay, so it's so funny. There's one time I had like 20 eight-year-olds on my tour, and so they were back here, and they were literally just swinging from me. Like, yeah, yeah. like, that sounds insane. awesome. And then behind the scary ear, you'll see those rails. Those go down. Oh, those go down about I don't know, probably 200 feet, but the whole shaft goes down about 765 feet. That's shaft number one. These things are awesome. Line. Keep out, it's yeah, this. You're right. My hips are actually pretty large. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to edit number one. Oh, well, and edit yeah, is a yeah, Cornish yeah. word, and all it means is a horizontal entrance to a mine. All right? And so, a shaft is a vertical or an inclined entrance as opposed to that horizontal. Uh, yeah. Before this place became a tour, danger. The graffiti. Yes. I'm just walking. <laughs> it's a cave. So I don't know how much of this we're going to be able to film because you guys can't see much, but yeah, it's fine. Make that they were blasting in here? Yeah, they were just now. Really? Yeah. Um, so they were actually on the second level. I'll show you where they went from and then show you okay. roughly where they came. You will. And so uh, if you guys look at this away, you'll see a lot of holes in the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so they currently actually practice drilling here. And so they do it in a class called Drilling and Blasting at Michigan Tech. 
And so my boss, Matt Portfleet, he teaches over there. He's a mining safety professor. And so then he brings everyone over here to do fun classes. They also blast here, and that's what you're smelling actually as we're walking in, is they were just blasting down on the second level. And so we can smell that as we're walking through. Right. Which is kind of weird. I've never had that happen before. I guess sometimes I blow past this. I was going to say, I, I think forget, that was something. I forget it's over here, and I'm like, why is it not further? Anyways, this is our mineral vein. And so when you see one of these, especially at a 45 degree angle, you know it's following that same load that the copper is. And so you remember when I talked about that water coming up and depositing all the copper along those little vesicles? So the same thing happened, but with other, other different conglomerates. And so calcite came up with the, the copper as well, chlorite, and also epidote. And so this lime green that you see, that's epidote. That dark green that you see, that's chlorite. All this white that you see is either quartz or calcite. The red, browny color, you would think that's uh, copper, except for it's not. Iron. It's not iron. It's no. actually oh. potassium feldspar. It does have a little bit of that's iron in it, yeah. though. Yeah. Vape, too. Okay. And then if you walk up to that little drill hole in the middle there, you'll notice something in the back. How are you going to go up there? Go oh, up there. There's nothing scary up there. You're back. I was going to say pipe, but it's not hollow. Oh, that's. Uh, is that it's the, a drill bit. Is it a That's a drill bit, isn't it? It's not a drill bit. Oh, darn it. Copper? Copper. Oh. And so you can actually see where the drill head went into the copper. Oh. That's why it kind of looks like a drill bit. So, oh. yeah. So you'll notice it's at a 45 degree angle. The reason why they went like that is because there would have been copper chunks sticking out of the bottom here. They knew that the bull formation was moving this way, and so then they knew to go up at the 45 degree angle here. If they were to be mining on this side and see copper at the bottom here, they would go down at that 45 degree angle, if that makes sense. Right down there. Are you stupid? You want to try those out? Yeah. Uh -huh. You good with that? Because I can't see stuff. Alright. You'll break through the bats are here. Oh. Huh? About 120 feet. And so 60 feet down, there's a slide that takes you the rest of the way, which is kind of nice. <laughs> it's gotten a little bit chilly. Sorry, I'm setting up a really awful position for my dad joke that I'm about to tell, okay? All right. Anybody know how uh, I know this guy was really musical when he was alive? Mm. Oh, are there any, like, hand bones? Cause I don't even <laughs> no, but that would be really so good. So how I know he was musical is when the rocks all fell down, they were tumbling down the shaft onto him. At the bottom, he was a flat minor. Oh, yeah, whoa. <laughs> The worst joke I've ever told. You'd have one man operating from this end, and you'd have another man standing over there throwing buckets of water onto that tip there. And that's just to avoid it bending, warping, anything like that, but also to keep down the amount of silica dust that you were inhaling. Because this later on was deemed the Widowmaker, and that's because of all that silica dust that was getting picked up while you were using a pneumatic drill and no water line. You are slowly inhaling silica dust, which is slowly cementizing your lungs over time. React like drill, but previous to this drill, you had had a lighter post and beam model. And so with that, you tried to send one man down in here with one of those. That's what they were doing at the time, at least, about 1912, 1913, because we were losing lots of workforce to Henry Ford, who was taking all of our workers away, paying them $5 a day, Whereas we were only pay paying them about two and a half here. And so the way they tried to compensate that is they tried to send one man down at a time to drill. So you got a hundred pound drill now, pretty nifty. And so you can have one man carry that and set it all up, right? Pretty light. Mm, not by OSHA standards today for certain. They don't even allow more than 50 pounds for most jobs. So. Oh. And so they tried to send one man down at a time. It wasn't actually much of a big deal with regards to drilling, because that was already a dangerous job. But when you were sending one man down at a time, what you did encounter was you were not able to tell when they were hurt at all. It's just a lookout. We gotta turn back and go back through. Yeah. No, there's like, it's like a roundabout kind of thing. 
light. Oh, wow, look at that Poor view. Oh my gosh, I can feel it. Oh, you turn it off, too. Oh, you got it. How are you doing? Wow. Look at that view. There we are. Yeah, that's fine. Don't drop your camera. Obviously. <laughs> how'd you how'd you do i'm still breathing <laughs> driver all clear <laughs> i'm holding on with both this time when we come down here No, it was fun. Well, we decided to do two trips in the UP at once. Obviously went to the Copper Mine and now we're heading over to Sea Lake of the Clouds. So that's pretty fun and exciting. Uh, took the, no, the non-hikers way to this one. Tomorrow we're going to go to all the ones on Black River Road where there's a lot of hiking, but got the in-laws with us, and I don't think Kelly or Carl would want to do that kind of a hike. So, uh, yeah, we're here to do Lake of the Clouds. Hi, honey. Sure. Uh, and this time, this time Zoe stayed behind. Yeah. So, Lake of the Clouds with my wife, and we did the copper mine with, with Zoe, so. We took turns. Yeah. But also, you know, people don't feel good. They don't want to deal with the dogs barking at people or other dogs. Yeah, the dog's barking. That's always not fun. Nope. Oh, wait. No, wait. Uh, I don't know. Read. Lake of the Clouds is either way. Yep, let's go. But this is the we went way. up this yeah, way. Yeah, we go this and way and then we, back around, yeah. We meandered down the hill. Feel, feel the burn. Climb. Uh, How you old folk doing? I've never had a time yeah, you did so well in the mine. Danger, cliff ahead, stay away from edge. All right, let's see this view together, huh? Oh, man. Wow. The only way to describe it is just vast downness. It's just uh. incredibly down. Yeah. Wow, look at even that view over there. Yep. I'm going to get a Just incredible. Oh, hey Jimmy, if you want to look overboard, just go right here. There are moments of awe when looking upon God's creation, and Lake of the Clouds is one of those moments. Every time you crest that hill and you can see the beauty of 
God's creative work. Lake of the Clouds is, if you haven't been, go. It's gorgeous. So Julie reminded me that we didn't get any video of this, but uh, there's a little, there's a little tiny gift shop um, on the north side of the road, the Lake Superior side of the road, just coming back out of uh, the Lake of the Clouds, and they have some really cool souvenirs, and then they have like some awesome ice cream. I got what was called Zanzibar chocolate. Um, it's like a rich dark chocolate ice cream. I got rum black cherry. Philip got rum black cherry. Julie got chocolate lovers or chocolate, chocolate holic or chocolate holic, yeah, chocolate holic, yeah. So, uh, anyways, it was only like four dollars a cone, which is like really respectably uh, cheap amazing, compared, amazing. Com like compared to a lot of things out here. So, anyways, if you if you go up to Lake of the Clouds, there, stop by afterwards, and I would advise afterwards. Yeah, get yourself some ice cream. It's really good. What do you think, hon? Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> so helpful. Braiding, yep out of yep. Yep out of yep. What's, uh, 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 scale of 1 to 10 ice cream flavoring. How good is it? Like a 7. I place mine at seven? 8. Yeah. An 8 from Flip? Uh, those are rookie numbers, so I'm going to go with a, uh, Seven four. Wow. Seven four. Yeah. It was good. It was good. I already already eaten mine and then Julie's like, why didn't you film any of that? And I'm like, because I forgot. So sorry, but we got to do this. So anyways, Lake of the Clouds, just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Um yeah, I guess uh we're heading home. I don't think we're gonna film anymore. So uh tomorrow we're gonna go to Black River Road and hit the waterfalls and do a big hike. So I guess, uh, good night and see you tomorrow. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on all the new content that we post regularly. Also, if you would like to see more from Truax Outdoors, check out our channel where we have playlists with hundreds of other videos like this one. And as always, until next time, God bless.